Hey guys, Stephen from Heresy Academy here. So this video should be should be a bit better than what I just made of the last video, which is kind of a fail. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up so the the coin counter uh, it works more dynamically or more smoothly rather than just jumping up by 20, then 40, then 60. It'll it'll still increase by one but change its speed. So it's very very simple to do, so we shouldn't account eh, shouldn't encounter any errors. What I want to do is I want to open up my coin per sec script, so the one we did, um, which defines the coins per second script, and uh, just going to let that load in and develop. What we're going to do basically, we're just going to change a couple of things in this one, and uh, then also we'll change our integer function, integer functions to uh, floats as you'll see there public int and int tick change them to floats because that'll be important and also in the click script as well we're going to I don't know hopefully this will open it did it even click it I'm sure I clicked it in the click script as well we're just going to change how it writes here instead of like plus coin divided um coin per click and stuff like that we'll change how it's written so there we go, it's loaded. It's probably loading two copies here for some reason. Let's let it load one. So yeah, just let it load up and what we're gonna do, like I said, we're just gonna change change a couple of things in there. Um and it should work, we shouldn't face any issues now. I know what I'm doing on this one. Um well, I say that, but I know what I'm doing on every video and I still do something wrong. But yeah, so that's what we're doing in this video. That's that's that really. That's how it is, and then I look at the the suffix uh, suffixes, the ending of our counter to be k or n for million. I mean, I don't think we'll make it up to a million coins really, but we'll need to refigure our values and stuff like that. And then add in some audio. Also, set this up again. Oh I'll, no, I can do that in my own in between videos, just to sort of make sure I rescale things to look right. And they're in the right position. We might just put him behind the stall there. Just time him standing at the back. Stuff like that. But this is taking a bit to load. Do me now. Ah oh, dear me. But yeah, so uh I did make a bit of a fool myself a fool of myself in the last video trying to uh just do that off the top of my head there. It wasn't very, very good. But uh that's the way it is sometimes. Sometimes the answer is right there in front of you, so just don't give up, keep looking, keep trying. I mean, you can Google things, and Mono Develop isn't even responding here for some reason. Oh, it flickered. Here we go. There we go. Right. Like I said, we're going to go to our coin per sec script, and what we want to change, um, go down to our auto coin per second, and we're going to change here, uh, down here it says coins per second. We'll just uh, change this to be divided by 10. We can change this value afterwards, but divide, by, divide that by 10 for now. Save that. Drop down to our E enumerator and the yield return new weight for seconds one. Um, we'll change this to be 0.10F. Okay, so they're dividing it by 10 and the 0.1, uh, they're correlated. So obviously, if it's like 0.5, then you're not going to divide it by 10, are you? Sort of thing. So that's what you do in in this one. Oh no, sorry. Um, what do I need to change? My integers. Where are they? Here we go. So change that integers to float as well. Um, I should have mentioned that before. Pretty sure I did. Change them both to float, and then we want to go to our click script, and we will change how it's written. So in our update function. We've got our, uh, our coin counter dot text here, and instead of plus coins, plus coins dot to string. Very very simple. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to write f and zero. F is in the letter f, just just one letter, um, as if we're writing a float, but it's not a float. Uh, what that means is we're telling it how many decimal points we want it to have. We want it to have no decimal points, so we put f and zero. But what you do is you open parentheses and also open speech marks and go for F and zero there. Save this and make sure you save the coin per sec script as well. 
jump back to Unity and if everything just went wonderfully, which it should, shouldn't have any errors. Ignore this error here, this GFX window. I don't know if you guys will have it. I get it all the time. I don't actually know what it means. <clears throat> Apart from that, yeah, it's just that. And that succeeded one as well. Like, yay, succeeded. So it's an error. We, we succeeded. That's bad. I don't know. So, yeah. So, what we've done, I'm going to open this up now. So, we'll sell some fruit. I'm just going to change it to a 10 there. And it goes up by... It just doesn't go up at all. Ah, oh, oh, come on. I keep doing this. Go out of play mode. If you turn these off before, make sure you turn back on. It's coin per second and coin per click. And then just save it again. And then play it again. Because I keep turning them off and then forgetting to actually use them. Put them back on. Again, sell some fruit so you get 10 fruit. There you go now, it's going up by one. It's going up completely by one, not by 1.00 .00 or anything. Sell some fruit and get some quicker. It's going a bit quicker, a bit quicker. So you see how this this could be considered to be better. That's what a lot of games would be like. It would go up, it's still incrementing by one at a time. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> so change this up now to be like. I'm just trying to see if I can get a higher number so it runs off. You'll understand what I mean in a minute. Probably won't really, won't be able to manage it. Um, there you go, see how, how the text is changing there, so it's at a thousand. I guess past a thousand here now, come on, we can make it. Okay, I'm just going to decrease this because this is how I play these games, it's, it's crazy. So I can scroll down my scrollable menu now that it works. Right, let's just do some decent damage. I'll use the laptop. Right, so it's going to get to 10,000 now. You see how it's going to change again, it's going smaller. Whereas this, it'll go up to 999 and then it'll go one point something. And then it'll go all the way up to like... Um, close to a million. I'm not going to show it up to a million because it's going to take so long to get there. But I hope you get the point. We're going to do that in the next video. I'm going to change it so it shows letters rather than the numbers at the end and stuff like that. Uh, it's not really complicated as such, but uh, it's it's got it's a bit different. We're making like instances of scripts and then we reference the instance. And we use the awake function. We've used that in a, in a series before. Um, then we we're making like a public string function, like we did with the public integer function, which we now made change to a public float function. We'll be doing one of them. And that's basically just using the float value, and then we'll uh, we're basically converting, checking like if the value is so much, then it'll change to well, it'll basically divide it by itself, and then we'll put it to string. But this time we'll do like f two or f three. What we do. Well, we'll do F3 because uh, 1.000 is basically showing a thousand. So, yeah, we'll put three um, decimal places, so F and three. And then for that one, for that example, obviously I said a thousand. So then you'd, you'd put the letter K, so that would be 1K. So, yeah, that's just basically me trying to explain it to you, but it'd be much better for me to actually show you how to do it. So, we'll do that. Um, and then what else could we do? Could toggle like could do an upgrade button to turn off the the scroller here. So just a button up there. Um, adding adding some more UIs, changing the cell fruit to be the the farmer. So you can click on the farmer. I mean, you guys. In fact, you know what? I've got a better idea. Sorry. Before we do this, before we end video, go to sprites. Um, in fact, let's import a new sprite there. And we'll just go for the apple. I'm just gonna drag in a sprite, an apple sprite here. So it's transparent, that's good. So on my clicking button, I've decided to change my mind. I'm gonna to go to my image here and I'm just gonna drag the apple image over there. And I'll get rid of the text now. I don't need the text. I don't need the text at all. So drag the click button. Oh it helps over zoom in. I'm looking at the game screen as that's what it is, as if that's what it is. But we're just going to drag this up to here somewhere so it's in the middle still. Drag it 
drag the anchor point so it stays about the well the starters will sort of make it a decent size like that then drag the anchor points to be oh there it is I can't see the other one then drag the anchor points around it so what this does now rather than having a click button like that literally just clicking on an apple I mean you can change it to whatever symbol you want it to be really you know which works just the same what you could do now is said though every time you click it you could set up sort of like a particle system or just instantiating um oh I haven't set this up to to follow that yet I forgot to do that it's not a big deal really I can show you how to do that afterwards because I mean make it bigger it fits again <laughs> Uh, that's that's the that's the way to fix it. Just scale it up a bit. It'll work. <laughs> but yeah, so using this, uh, every time you click it, it can just drop some apples out or something. Uh, obviously, the background at the moment is just basically an image, um, so you can make it a bit more interactable. We'll move these around, so we'll put them up here or something, and we can take away the button element completely and just have it as the text written on here, or you know, maybe get rid of the farmer now and make another section there or something. Well, I keep changing my mind on how things are going to be done. But yeah, so that's what we're doing now. We're having an apple rather than the button. It still works as a button, but, you know, we've got rid of the text and we've changed it to an image of an apple. So that's that. Um, the main point of this video, though, was to make it so it increases by a certain amount per... Um, by per certain so uh, a certain speed, sorry, I forget what I'm saying now. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I just thought it didn't work then, but it's still, it's going up at the right thing. It's going by certain speed. But we can edit that out, we can edit it around a bit as well. If you go into like the script, my script wasn't on current for a second. Was it? Yeah, so we divide it by 10 and 0.1. But you can put it to like 0.2 and then change that around, just change the speed of how it goes sort of thing. Well, that's what we was trying to achieve in this video, so that's what we did. And it added in the apple there, just, just to sort of throw that in there. So yeah, that's what we've got so far. Um, hope you like this video and hope you'll subscribe to catch up with the other ones. Uh, drop some feedback and comments, let me know what you think. If, if I'm just going absolutely terrible feel free to let me know because I reckon that's what you're thinking. So, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. I mean, I won't see you in the next video, but you'll see my next video, I hope. See you later, guys.